Let's review some running technique drills for runners that have shoulder pain. Now, we understand that no two shoulder injuries are exactly identical, so we always recommend consulting your physician or physical therapist for specifics about your case. But if you're noticing that your shoulders are painful during running, um, let's look at the role of the shoulders to help you understand why these technique drills may be beneficial for you. We are using Usain Bolt because he is such an efficient runner, um, and I know he's a sprinter. I know a lot of us are distance runners, but sprinters do all the things that distance runners do, but on a much more magnified level because of the amount of force and velocity that they have to produce. So what you can see in these videos is, especially from this left side, how his shoulder helps pull his upper body forward. So a kind of up and forward. Now it's, it's not something conscious that he's doing. He, they've asked him, he doesn't realize he's doing it. But the top of his upper body or his upper body comes up um, at the same time that his foot is pulling off the ground. So it's this idea of unweighing. So the top of the body is helping the lower body move. It's unweighing the lower body to help with efficiency and be much more powerful. So all the drills you're about to watch are drills that encourage that unweighing. So getting the shoulders to help move the lower body for efficiency. Jumping rope is a great technique drill. It can be done, even if you don't have a rope, you can mimic it. And what we're doing is we're asking the shoulders to help pull the lower body. So you jump rope in place, drop it, and then run. This is the seated hop. So you're sitting on a bench, a table, um, a box, whatever it is, and your feet are off the ground, and you're using your shoulders to shrug up to pull your body. So you'll see Abby here using her shoulders to get her entire body up off the ground. Her feet come out of the, off the ground, and she this is in slow-mo so you can see it. That shrug that she has to do, um, really focusing on what the shoulders are doing to pull up. Um, yes, the hands and elbows are helping with the momentum, but really using those shoulders to get her weight off the bench. Um, she'll follow it with a run to incorporate that movement into her running. Next, we have running with weight overhead. You can use a dumbbell, barbell, med ball, whatever you have. And you're just going to place the weight over your head as you're running. And what you're really trying to do is raise the awareness, um, help your shoulders train to help unweigh that lower body. Next, we have unweighing shoulder shrugs in standing. And so what we're doing is we have a eight pound med ball, placing it over our head and we're shrugging to throw the ball. And then we're gonna do it in slow motion here for, for you to see. I'm not bending my elbows and throwing, not trying to bend my wrists and throw it. And what you'll see here is Abby, she's shrugging, getting those shoulders up um, and to launch the ball um, away from our bodies, thinking about using our shoulders, shrugging through that movement. Um, and this is to mimic that shrugging mo motion we're seeing on Usain Bolt. Here's a different version of the same drill. We're now in tall kneeling. So what this does is it eliminates the ability for the legs to do a lot of the work and really forces our upper bodies to help um, bring awareness to how those shoulders can help unweigh the lower body. So again, weight overhead, shrugging motion, not trying to bend the waists or propel the ball with your hands, just making the shoulders do most of the work. The next progression of the drill is now sitting and long sitting. And what this does is this eliminates most of the lower body from helping in any way. So now we really are having to feel what it feels like to launch the ball using just our shoulders um, and thinking about that unweighing movement that happens during running and how those shoulders are really supposed to help keep the lower body moving easier. And the final progression, the hardest one, is laying on your stomach and launching the ball. Now we've taken out anything to help and only making the shoulder do this. This is very challenging, super funny to watch other people do it. Um, but again, and you may have to go a lower weight on that ball, but it's a great one to work with a partner on to help bring awareness to the shoulders. Here, Abby are doing some heel clicks underneath her body weight. So she's shrugging with her shoulders as she pulls her heels up underneath her. Um, a quick hop forward, really focusing on keeping those shoulders moving, as well as quick hopping backwards is another technique drill to help bring awareness to how your shoulders move. And finally, our favorite one, heel clicks to the side. Um, just a fun, easy one to do, keeps everybody happy, and um, really brings awareness again of lifting that whole body through pulling, the pulling motion that can happen with your shoulders leading it and unweighing your body.